Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Welcome back to Work Guitars. So I've been trying to do the whole inlay process, filming little pieces of it, trying to make a video that isn't so long that it's boring. And we finally got to the part where I can start putting the inlay in the fretboard for the Roman numeral fretboard inlay. The lighting over here is so bad you cannot see it. I've got to get some lighting over here. I think it's a little better over there, but we're gonna go with this for now. But I'm gonna get you over a little closer and I'm gonna show you the process of putting the inlay in. You've probably seen this once before already, but let's do it again anyway. Uh, all of these pieces seem to fit pretty well. I made the, the part that is on the fretboard, the mortise that I call it, um, which is the negative of the inlay itself. I made that slightly large so that these pieces fit down in there easily and I don't have to push them because some of them are very small and we don't want to have to put any pressure on them because they will break off. It's very brittle. It's like a piece of glass or shell, you know, it's a piece of shell. Let me get you a little closer and you can see what we got going on over here. Okay, so hang on just a minute. Okay, so here we are. We've got the parts in our little tray. As you can see how small they are. So we have to be very careful that we don't uh, break any. And we want to just make sure that this is all clean inside here. And we don't have any areas that are still sticking up inside there or something that the cutter missed. It looks like everything is good. It looks like one of the tool paths cut slightly deeper than the other one. I'm not sure why. Uh, sometimes the CNC does things you don't expect it to do. That's okay, we can fix all of that. For the most part though, it looks like it's pretty clean down inside there. I'm just gonna take this little file and just make sure that there's nothing inside those little areas there. I think we're good. Okay, so we're just gonna start gluing in some parts. Make sure we got the good side up. Sometimes there's a good side and a bad side on Mother of Pearl. We want the good side up. I think those look good. I'm just gonna stick these in there, drop them in, and then I'm gonna come back and backfill a little with some thinner uh, CA glue after we get them in there. And we wanna make sure they're straight, sitting in there straight. Like I say, I did make these a little bigger than they need to be because I don't wanna have to push these down in there. It's okay if we need to fill just a little here and there. You might have seen on the other video, I saved some of this ultra fine dust. It's like flour, it's like ebony flour. And I'll take that and put it in any little tiny gaps and fill that with CA glue and it just disappears and looks like, you know, the, it's perfect. It's as close as you can get it without forcing it down in there. You do not want to force it. See how well that drops in there? That's what we're looking for right there. And the CA glue dries very quickly, obviously, so you're okay. I need a better tip on here. We're getting sloppy now. Let me put a better tip on here.
There you go, guys. I like it. Uh, challenging but we got it done okay guys that's it for the inlay on the fretboard there's nothing left to do now but sand it then you don't need to watch me sand it I'm gonna take a 12 inch radius block and I'm gonna sand all of the inlay flush to the surface do a little bit of filling where I need to with some of the magic ebony powder around whatever little tiny cracks may remain and uh, this bad boy is ready to be glued onto the neck of course, we'll put it in the frets first. Gotta put the frets on, then we glue it on the neck. And I'm happy with the way it turned out. A lot of work went into doing this. It's kind of hard to film it because there's so many different steps. Of course, I had to draw it first. I had to do the Roman numeral drawing and lay out the tool pass and that type of thing. But that's really boring to watch, so I didn't film any of that. <laughs> I'm bored watching it, so I know you would be. But listen, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you out there, all right? And uh, thank you for your patience if I'm doing one of your builds. Thank you so much for, you know, giving me the time I need 
to get these builds right. Let me show you a couple things real quick before we get away. Of course, you see Black Beauty hanging over there. Uh, you've seen her, hold on one minute. This beautiful single cutaway for our friend Ben Scarborough is got color on the back now. This is one of those weird pieces of wood where when you look at it in different ways, it looks darker. If you look at it this way, this side's a little bit lighter. If you look at it this way, this side's a little bit lighter. But it got sprayed at exactly the same time. Strange, but that's just the way wood is. But that's got a pretty natural uh, tobacco sunburst, not tobacco sunburst. Tobacco stain is what I was trying to say. Sunburst just popped into my head. Okay, so this is coming along good. We'll get this one tightened up. It's time to put color on here. The next videos will be color on the top. I'm going to go ahead and take this off now and get that prepped for that particular thing. And this baby's coming along soon. Of course, you know, we have Chad Bailey's build coming up. Chad Bailey has the seven string with the walnut inlay, which I'm really digging. That's pretty cool looking. Seven string with a nice trim on it. Digging that. I'm getting ready to, this week we'll start uh, milling up the walnut and the purple heart. And uh, I think I'm gonna try to also do a little either white veneer or maple veneer in there also to give it a few accents. So we got a lot of stuff going on. I'm drawing his fretboard too. Oh man, we, got to, we just got things going on like crazy here and it's great and I'm so thankful that you guys got behind us and uh, you're letting us do what we, we love to do. Ethan Gardner, yours is coming. If you watch these videos, man, yours is coming right up. It's in the computer. It's swimming around in there. It just needs to get out and turn into a uh, tool pass and we need to glue some wood together for it. And then of course, all the handwork that goes along with it, you know? Okay, so that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching the the inlay portion of this build uh, for Jay Rakes. And if you have any questions or if you have any comments, man, please don't hesitate to throw them down in the comment section there. Thank you for subscribing. Give us a like. It really helps us out. And I think that's all I got for you. You guys be good to each other out there. We'll see you out there somewhere with guitars. Bye now.